and mummies and daddies do you want your child to excel in academics oh of course yes do you want your child to read as a habit by choice and not by force yes yes why not do you want your child to watch less mobile less tv less ipads less screen time in general and develop reading as a habit as a hobby absolutely yes are you a parent of a young kid and want to develop his reading skills of course yes but how will reading help in leadership skills well to know answer to this question stay tuned and watch this video till end and learn the tips that how can you help your child to improve their reading skills welcome to pile's life coaching number one place for parents of kids age 0 to 10 years who wants to be happy within who wants to have happy relationship with their spouse and want to raise happy kids and thus have happy families if you wish to be one then let's group together well the question was that how reading can help in making leaders you can check out any leader in the world there is one thing common in about every leader is that they are readers reading is a common habit by among all leaders because reading enhances one's horizon and make them see other possible perspectives tell me honestly that do you still read no 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 <laughs> most of the parents have given up the habit of reading themselves because it was not developed during childhood neither by parents nor schools do you want to repeat the same mistake if you do not want to repeat the same mistake then focus on developing child's reading skills at early age now what to do for that how to make reluctant readers read and non readers read well here are certain tips tip number 1 create a language rich environment at home lots of thinking reading speaking writing should happen at home do not rely completely on schools for developing reading as a habit schools have their own syllabus to cover so reading as a habit is somewhere missed a few schools do give it importance but it is generally not taken into consideration as a habit if you generally buy toys for your child then consider in investing books for the child which should be age appropriate tip number 2 read to child and read with child fix up a time of the day when you can block certain time for reading it should be fixed up in schedule i do not suggest that you should do reading only at a bed time whatever time suits you but make it as a habit a daily routine habit which should not be missed even if it's just one page or two page sometimes ask child to read to you sometimes you read to the child or you can also do this way that one page is re read by the child and the second page is read by you so this way the child will focus on the right way of reading when you read and this way child will role model you and learn to read as well also whenever you are free and you want to do your reading at that time also you can encourage child to do his reading even if your child is too young and cannot read words but they can do picture reading just provide a book with lots of pictures and they will make their own story through pictures but their interest in reading would develop since then number 3 ask child to choose the book if you ask child to get the book then they will show more interest in reading and they would love to read as the onus lies on them try this out it really works number 4 make reading into a pleasurable activity the child should not feel that it is enforced rather they should wait for that time when it is their story time so it calls for lots of creativity from the parent side that how you can modulate your voice how can you present the story how do you ask questions in between to develop and to sustain the interest of the child in the story number 5 never hurry the process for younger children that is 2 to 3 years old 2 to 5 minutes is enough because they have short attention span but if your child is showing interest then you can stretch it a little but don't make it too much for them and as your child grows older you can make it up to 15 minutes every day so instead of 30 minutes per day you should do 15 minutes every day but it should be consistent work doing nothing for 3 days and doing 30 minutes one day has no relevance Number six, encourage child to read whatever, wherever possible, like road signs, instruction manuals of books, science experiments, the new games that they come up with, instruction manuals of those games, recipes. This way, the child would develop the love for reading and would love to read, even if you don't tell them to read. If you do not get time to read out to your child, then I would suggest you a YouTube channel, Story Time at Oni's House. wherein this lady oni reads out the story book to the children and the text is written 
which a child can read along. It's not just like a, any storytelling session uh, where uh, animations are presented, but a book is being read. Uh, I've suggested one more resource in this video, so do check out after this one. My next tip is to make a book club. You can ask your child to choose four to five friends whom he would like to compete with in reading. They can pick up whatever book they want to and every week, every month, they compete that what book they read, they discuss about it and whoever reads the maximum is rewarded by the parents. I would also come up with a video wherein I'll talk about that how to make young kids read. What is the right technique which would help kids to read properly? So do subscribe to this channel if you haven't and don't miss that important one. Another thing, my mission is to reach up to 100,000 parents this year so that I can serve people, serve parents with whatever little knowledge that I have. So please help me in my mission and please share this video to as many parents as you want so that we can reach up to maximum people. Well, if you're considering, then thanks in advance and thanks for watching this video. Happy parenting!